Hi YouTube, TechMaster here. Today I want to talk to you about subnet mask, default gateway, DHCP servers, which is the dynamic host configuration protocol, DNS, domain name server, and TCP IP. Alright, so to pull these up, and I already got the numbers here for pinging, like narrowing down problems in your network, let's get this command going command prompt remember how we attached that to the taskbar last time if you don't have that feature all you have to do is windows R and type CMD and hit OK and what you want to type in here is IPCONFIG space forward slash ALL enter and here's all your connections that your computer has well, I'll remove this one alright so we're connected wirelessly scroll that up to the top so it's easy to see alright now let me explain here is the IPv4 preferred this is your computer this is the address the address the IP address of your computer that sends out packets to your network which is the subnet mask the subnet mask is your network your local area network where all your computers would be plugged in to that network and it is assigned an IP address it searches around if you can't find it it goes to your router which is your default gateway the default gateway is a, your router is assigned a IP address it leaves from there and if you have a dynamic IP address configured on your computer it will go to the DHCP server which is right here it assigns temporary IP addresses to your computer and it changes every time you log back on a static IP address is an address that stays the same all the time. I'll show you real quickly. So right click on the bars, open network and sharing center, click on your Wi-Fi, choose properties, scroll down to IPv4, properties, and here you are. Automatically when you have an, a dynamic IP address it's chosen automatically and it changes every time you log back on if you were to click here you would use a static IP address that would stay the same and I'll show you this later I have Namebench running right now to find me the, the fastest DNS server in my area and it's taking forever here it is it's still running okay now back to this alright we were at DHCP server from there with the dynamic IP address configured it will then send you to the DNS the main DNS server down here this is what it connects to on the internet to find the address that you just typed in and then it finds it and sends it back all the way back to your computer so that's how to identify what these IP addresses are IPv4 your computer the subnet mask is your network default gateway is your router leading out to the internet DHCP server for your dynamic changing IP address and then on to your DNS server down here okay so let's close that out now what we want to do is troubleshoot as if we were having a having a problem so let's open up our command prompt again here is the subnet mask I tried pinging the network and that doesn't it comes back with nothing but I did ping the the router and I pinged the DHCP server and I also pinged the DNS and I got good responses so I'll do that with you 
here's the default gateway I'm gonna ping my router so we copy now we're gonna go over to command prompt and we're gonna type in PING space right click paste our router IP address and enter there we go packet sent four received four we lost none now that's good so the connection from the computer to the router is perfect now let's go down to DHCP out on the net and we're gonna ping that server Copy. so PING space right click paste the address and enter alright that one's good sent four packets sent four received four lost none alright that's perfect now we're going to ping the main domain name server which is here copy so again PING space right click paste and enter okay packet sent four received four lost none so all my connections are perfect but I wasn't having problems anyway okay when this name bench finishes running I'll let you guys know oh yeah and one more thing briefly on the TCP IP transmission control protocol internet protocol is just the process of sending packets your computer sends packets to the server a little at a time and it multiplies if it doesn't find a number the server will say okay I receive those packets okay and then they'll send a larger number of packets and then it'll send back a message saying I received that okay and then it'll multiply every time until the job is done this happens so fast it seems instantaneous if you have a very fast internet but that's what's going on in TCP IP in the background okay I'll see you guys when the uh, name bench finishes running and I will have the download page which is this address in the notes below the video so you can just copy and paste and go and download your own name bench and run it all you have to do is I changed this number to 1000 servers D domain name servers you run it and it'll run and find the fastest one your browser should open saying this is the fastest in your area and then I'll walk you through how to change your domain name server in your connection to the fastest one that uh, name bench finds okay I'll see you guys when this is done okay name bench has finished I took a screenshot of the web browser and this is the fastest DNS server that it's providing the closest see it says recommended configuration fastest plus nearest so I'll show you how to go and plug this into your network so go down to the bars on your system tray right click open network and sharing center click on Wi-Fi click on properties go down to IPv4 IPv4 properties again and down here use the following DNS server address alright and now we'll plug it in just gotta pull up the picture again and make it where we can see it there we go all right. So the primary is one nine two one six eight zero one. Your alternate is two zero five one seven one two 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 six and then say OK. Close, close, and close. And now you're set to the fastest possible DNS server. 
we can go check our internet connection. Here's the screenshot I took. This is what Namebench opens up in your browser after it's finished running. So let's go to speed test. We'll do several different speed tests. This is Speakeasy. Choose Dallas. I'm near Houston, but it wants I don't see Houston here. Nine eighty. Okay. There we go. Download speed nine eight ten kilobytes. Upload speed six seventy eight kilobytes. And there it is here. Download nine point eighty one. Upload zero point sixty eight. All right. Now we'll go run a different speed test. So speed test, and we'll do uh, speedtest.net now. This is what most everybody uses say test it automatically by default chooses the nearest DNS server to you that's very good 10 11 I'm only supposed to get 10 in this area so it's 10 11 so it's above average it's above what I'm supposed to get And the upload speed is 72. Now let's do one more. We'll do CenturyLink speed test, which is my ISP internet provider. Ten is fluctuating. Anything above ten is very good. Nine eighty eight. That's that's pretty good. I'm not going to complain about that. All right. So you've seen the speed test. So now you should be able to go and run Namebench on your own. I'll have the download link, which is this one. I'll have this download link in the video notes below, so you can copy and paste it into your browser and download your own Namebench, install it, and run it, and do follow the steps in this video and see if your internet speed increases any. Alright, thanks for watching.